Hi everybody and welcome to my Corvette channel. We have so much fun promoting Corvette, sharing experiences, yours and mine. I have a fun upload for you today, but I gotta promote the upload that we're gonna share this coming Sunday on our Coffee with Conti show. If you watch my social media, I teased it a little bit and I think, I think I did. I did capture the money shot of a C8 Corvette. I mean, we all take pictures of our car from this angle, that angle, up here, down here, but I got, I got the money shot, man. Mounted the GoPro in front of the engine vent. Put the top down, a hard top convertible in our 2021 and shot right through the nacelles. Man, that was, that was the money shot. A small little teaser clip for you now that's coming up this Sunday. from the drive that my son Ryan and I did this past weekend, we drove Ohio's triple nickel, the 555, the very route that the GM engineers test future Corvettes on. I'm going to show you what that road is all about, and we had a blast. A lot of fun things are always coming on this channel with Corvette people, the car, the marketplace. I've got some neat trades coming in. One that I sold new in 2016, a Z06 Laguna Blue convertible, automatic, and less than a thousand miles. So when I called the new owner last night to congratulate him on the 2021, said, hey, the new car looks fantastic. Got a question for you though. Are you gonna, you gonna drive this one? I certainly hope so. We also, in the coming months, will have a C8 that we sold new, a 2020, coming in on trade. So as you can see, there's all kinds of reasons to subscribe to our channel. I do appreciate that support. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss those uploads. I love hearing from you. Continue to make those comments down below and check out some of the other links to previous videos that I think you guys might enjoy as well. So what I have for you now is a home video because many times on the channel, we'll show you what to do or make a suggestion what to do, but here's Charles Coop who did it himself and saved some money. Coop, show him what you did. Well, after checking my warranty and it says that the linkage is not covered under my warranty so I said I got to find out if the linkage is bad before taking it to the dealer because I would have to pay for it out of my pocket so as you can see I took the face off there are four screws you got one here one there one there and one back up in there, back up under there. Okay, so now I got all the screws off. This comes up, and lo and behold, look at here, look at here, look at here. That right there. See, it's already, that bush right there is cracked. It's supposed to be attached to that right there. It is not attached. That's why I cannot shift to go into gear. Like I said, that leakage, linkage, excuse me, that bush right there, you see it's cracked, broke, it came apart right there there's my problem people that bush right there is probably like about five or five or six dollars if that wow how much money did i save well let me go get the part and i will be back on the road shortly bye Hey Coop, thanks for sending that video in. I do appreciate you watching the channel. Now what I have for you guys is a video clip from the National Corvette Museum. When I was at the bash event, I just, I just turned the camera off. And when you get to the Q&A session at the end of the seminar, usually some of those questions are, um, let's just say goofy, but actually there was a good one. If you add stuff to your car, you need to know that there could be a warranty implication. One thing in particular are those grill inserts on the front of your C8 Corvette. I'll let Taj answer the question first and we'll be back to talk about that.
The answer is yes. Uh, we were going for maximum cooling. Um, we wanted to make sure that the car runs uh, robustly in all weather conditions and also on the track. Um, the DCT transmission uh, operates in a relatively narrow range of temperature. The, the lube inside the DCT needs to be held to very specific temperature windows. Um, it's not very tolerant uh, of very high temperatures in the lube. So we need to make sure we had the most robust cooling as possible. And so uh, we actually tested uh, various mesh configurations and found that they restricted airflow. Um, and so we also tested uh, without them. And yes, like any car, or almost any car, you can get um, the fins on the heat exchangers bent over and that gives you the appearance uh, with stone impact. Ours is a little more visible because it's closer behind the grill uh, than most cars. But if you look at most cars, especially ones with open grills, uh, you can, if you can see in there, you can see that the radiator has that same condition. But in our testing, it shows no degradation of, uh, of thermal performance. Um, and so we're not putting that, that grill in there now. So I've heard people with express the concern, they don't like the look. Um, so we are trying to explore to see if there's anything else we might do that doesn't, um, un, you know, in an undesirable way, reduce the cooling performance. Um, maybe we'll find something, but I can't suggest, I, I can't promise uh, that at this time. So there are other aftermarket uh, companies uh, offering that. And some of them, we, don't, we can, obviously can't test all of them. Uh, and, and we don't make it our business to test them. Uh, but we keep an eye on what's going on out there. And for many people, honestly, if you don't live in a real hot weather environment, if you don't track your car um, and you'd like the additional protection, uh, even though we can't offer it, there probably are some aftermarket uh, grill meshes that would be acceptable. However, if you put them on your car um, and you get uh, overheating, um, that won't be on us, that won't be on GM. So there you have it, guys, from the top dog. There could be warranty implications if you put some aftermarket stuff on your Corvette. But this is not any new news. When you buy a car, new car, you get this form here. The one section down here says, non-GM parts and accessories are not covered under the GM new vehicle limited warranty. They may also damage the vehicle, compromise its compliance with safety standards, or void the GM warranty on the vehicle itself. GM is not responsible for the consequences of installing non-GM equipment, parts, or accessories on the vehicle. Now, of course, what Taj was talking about with those grill inserts, I think you'd have to be at, well, possibly different elevations, but extreme situations. I think it's fair to say most of us, 98% of us, will never drive to the extreme where those grill inserts will compromise the temperature in the car. But interesting and good to know. So uh, I like how Taj explains it. It's, it's so it makes sense and we understand it and it certainly makes you aware. Well, I told you this was a fun one today. Hope you enjoyed the upload. I really appreciate you being here and I do appreciate your support and I'm asking for just a little bit more because we're kind of off pace. I set some lofty goals for myself as far as subscribership and we need some more. So please hit the subscribe button, thumbs up the video, make those comments down below. I do love hearing from you guys. I learn from you guys and we share in the experience. Now, we are gonna have a beautiful ride segment and I did not forget what today is, May 4th. So for all you nutty Star Wars fans out there, May the 4th be with you. <laughs> I had to say it. So we've got some great Corvettes with Star Wars themes, including the car that we sent off to Steven in Illinois, and then some other great looking cars in today's show. Thanks for joining us. And I didn't understand
And I didn't understand that 